Good evening, viewer. We are bringing you a special report as President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. touches down in Melbourne, embarking on a diplomatic mission that's set to strengthen ties and champion the rule of law on the international stage. Last night, the Philippine flag was flown high at Melbourne Airport as President Marcos and First Lady Lisa Araneta Marcos were greeted with the warm hospitality of our Australian friends. The President's visit is a testament to the enduring partnership between the two nations. At the heart of this trip is the Association of Southeast Asian Nation, ASEAN Australia Special Summit. Here, President Marcos will voice the Philippines' perspectives on pivotal regional and global matters and express gratitude for Australia's steadfast support. The President's schedule is packed with strategic bilateral meetings, including dialogues with Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Mani and New Zealand's Christopher Luxon. These discussions are crucial to bolstering ASEAN's collaborative framework. President Marcos will also connect with the Filipino diaspora in Melbourne, a vibrant community that bridges cultures and strengthens bilateral ties. Furthermore, he is championing Philippine business interests at the Philippine Business Forum, organized by the Department of Trade and Industry. It's a move that showcases the Philippines' growing economic clout. As we go along our development journey, I invite all of you to continue and enhance that partnership. When you think growth, think Philippines, so that together we will reap the benefits of robust, sustainable, and inclusive growth for our businesses and for our people. Anticipation is mounting for the President's keynote speech at the prestigious Lowy Institute, where he'll highlight the Philippines' proactive role in shaping a secure and rules-based regional order. This visit commemorates more than seven decades of Philippines-Australia relations, marked by mutual respect and cooperation. It's a relationship that's grown from comprehensive to strategic, with a deepened commitment to shared prosperity and security. Australia's role as a key development partner is underscored by its significant contributions, supporting the Philippines' growth and development initiatives. Home to a significant Filipino population, Australia not only hosts our Kababians but also fosters a rich exchange of culture and values. Australia is honoured to count the Philippines as a close friend and strategic partner. For more than three quarters of a century, our nations have been bound by strategic trust and mutual cooperation. Our ties are strengthened by warm and close personal connections, including through the over 400,000 Australians with Filipino heritage who make a wonderful contribution to modern multicultural Australia. Prime Minister Albanese celebrates this milestone, emphasising ASEAN's shared history with Australia and a future focused on deeper engagement and unity. In 2024, we will celebrate 50 years of partnership between Australia and ASEAN. To commemorate this important anniversary, it will be my great honour to welcome ASEAN leaders to Melbourne in March next year for an ASEAN Australia Special Summit. I look forward to hearing your priorities for ASEAN-Australian cooperation today. I thank you. Stay with us as we continue to provide comprehensive coverage of President Marcos Jr.'s visit to Melbourne. Hit the subscribe button for more updates and don't hesitate to join the conversation in the comments below. Thank you for watching.